So then, here we go with the second video of 2012. And the video is an unboxing of one GWR Hornby 040, number 101. This is a really great 040. I must have done about seven of these, well, six or seven of these 040s now. Oh no, I've got six or seven, but I've done about three, I think, unboxings. <laughs> right, let's get her open and have a look. I got this locomotive for my birthday, which was in December 2011. I was very, very pleased with it. Hornby 040 Operation and Maintenance Manual. Uh, if you're anything like me, you must have one or two of these 040s now, so it's pretty basic stuff. Where to oil, changing the motor, taking the body off, that sort of thing. So, accessories, you do get accessories with this locomotive. We can get it out. You get the usual bloke shoveling coal with a shovel, and bloke sat on a box reaching for something like a regulator or something. So there's your accessories, and you also get two vacuum hoses which I've already fitted. So there's no holes in the back, so you just go in there. Grab it out like that. Pretty simple. So here we go. She's a really nice engine. Got some really nice livery application. Lovely GWR on the side. It's really nice. And you've got your number 101. Some fake moulded handrails. And a big moulded handrail going across of the water tank. And this engine's also got pistons. And rods going in and out the side. This is the first 040 I've got, which has got pistons on it, which is great. You've got steps back here going up into the cab. And then you've got like a sandbox. Or a toolbox. <laughs> big massive couplings and big plastic non-sprung buffers, but you know. <laughs> then you've got the vacuum hose, which I've said I fitted. It's got a really nice design to the smoke box there. Then on the other side, it's exactly the same. You got your GWR, you got your handrails around the smoke box and the water tank, your piston, your number plate, your handrails, your um, steps, and your rods, which are really nice. Coming around to the back, big couplings again, no sprung buffers. But you've got some some sort of lamp hooks on the back, and again the brake hose which I fitted. <laughs> you got some rubbish fake coal, which I think is the worst fake coal I've ever seen. But you know it's no four o, and some sort of wheel, maybe a handbrake. On the roof, you've got some rivets going across, which is nice, and some paneling. You got some caps where maybe water would be put into the um tanks you've got your safety valves or whistles the big brass dome which is great and you've got your lovely copper chimney i like the copper chimneys and you've also got pickups on all four wheels which is essential of these 040s so yeah i think now we should see how she runs right let's get it on the tracks not too difficult, that's it. Um, if you can't get an 040, a Hornby 040 on the tracks, I suggest you get help, seriously. Right, let's give her some power and watch her move off. Here she comes, past the Intercity 225. Let's see how she handles these standard Hornby points. Fine, no problems. And let's see how she copes with the Hornby crossover. 
Not one stutter. Great. I was only on the fourth notch there. And she's running fine on it. Right, we've established that she runs very well at normal speeds, but what about at a slower speed? Let's have a look. As you saw there, she did stutter a bit, but I think that's quite respectable. And she runs just as well in reverse, no problems whatsoever. So yes, the Hornby GWR040, number 101. Great little loco. She runs really well, it's really surprising for a little 040. Great over points, great over crossovers. If you're just getting into the hobby or you're on a budget, I seriously recommend her. So, yeah, go and buy her. Thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe. I'll respond to any comments, any questions. Please like, respond. Um, thanks very much for watching.